happen. You know, the president says it's okay to fight the NRA once in a while, but it doesn't seem the Republicans in Georgia agree with that notion. Delta is now facing backlash in its home state over its push to sever ties with the NRA in the wake of the Parkland, Florida school shooting. Conservative leaders in Georgia's Senate are voting to block a lucrative tax break bill for the airline unless it fully reinstates its relationship with the gun rights organization. The bill, which cleared the state's house last week, would eliminate a state tax on jet fuel, potentially saving the Atlanta-based company tens of millions of dollars. Delta is one of several companies to abandon its relationship with the NRA after the school shooting. On Saturday, the company announced that it would end discounted rates for NRA members. Georgia's Republican Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle, a frontrunner in the state's gubernatorial race this year, weighed in on the matter yesterday, tweeting, I will kill any tax legislation that benefits Delta unless the company changes its position and fully reinstates its relationship with the NRA. Corporations cannot attack conservatives and expect us not to fight back. It's, it's really wow. remarkable. You, you, you look for an example like that when, when you want to prove how much how somebody kowtows to a special interest group. Yeah. And in, in this case, Mike, I, I would, I would love that lieutenant governor yeah. to call the good people of the state of Connecticut. There you go. Because General Electric... Yes. Kept getting, exactly right. Kept get. You know what? These legislators said General Electric will never leave. They've been here for 60 years, and they kept sticking their thumbs, in, you know, in, in the eyes of, of GE executives, and they kept raising taxes in a way that General Electric couldn't be competitive. And General Electric kept saying, "Listen, okay, here. If you guys do the, keep doing this, we're going to have to leave." They said, "Oh, you're not going to leave." And then there was a, 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 a guy in the state legislature, uh, one of the leaders. I think he was a majority leader. That said, "Oh, General Electric just doesn't want to pay higher taxes because their guys want to go around on yachts on the weekend." It's you know that General Electric's board got together and said, "We don't have partners here, and we don't have to stay here." So General Electric, after being in Connecticut for Connecticut for decades. Yeah. It, they, they moved to Boston. Delta Airlines, I mean, Delta. You couldn't be more right. Delta you, can, you, you hey, be more hey right. to the Lieutenant Governor of Georgia, what are you going to tell your voters when Delta decides to put their <laughs> hub in Cincinnati? That's like, it. you're mm -hmm. being, I, I, I'll be polite, you just need to talk to the people of Connecticut because when, when little state legislators like that, and I'm going to call him that, because that's what Connecticut had. We had these little state legislators that puffed their chests out and threatened General Electric to move. They moved, and our economy in Connecticut is shattered. Well, the suicidal line in the guy's text, whatever it is, put the text up again if you could, oh, I've got is, it here. is the last line. Corporations cannot attack conservatives and expect us not to fight back. So if you're a member of the Delta board, if you're the CEO of Delta, you can either get a message to the lieutenant governor of Georgia, either publicly or privately. We're going to go in Dow to Dallas and ask them, what, what, what do you do for us? We're going to make Dallas our new hub instead of Atlanta. That's a lot of jobs. We're going to go to That's Dallas. That's a lot of jobs. We're, I wonder, maybe we'll, maybe we'll go to, back to Cincinnati. We moved out of Cincinnati. We'll split our hubs between Cincinnati and Dallas. Maybe we'll put it somewhere in Charlotte. They do. Charlotte does a pretty good job with U.S. Airways. I mean. Again, the, the amazing thing is, and there were some, again, some Second Amendment gun rights people that were saying, wait a second, wait a second, that's, no, don't, you don't do that. The NRA is a private group, Delta is a private business. Right. They shouldn't have government coming in and weighing in on their fights. Those are clear thinking, small government, gun rights yeah. loving people well, even I, saying that. That's exactly what I was going to say. Conservatives I saw yesterday were saying, I agree with you. I, I don't think the NRA should have to suffer for the what happened in, in Florida. But the idea, and he calls himself a conservative in that tweet, the idea that it's conservative for a member of the government to lean on a private corporation and force them to do something is not conservative by yeah. any definition. Yeah, leaning in and, 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 take a drive and, and, and a getting in on, on your associations. <laughs> what, what groups you decide to associate yourself with. And Gene, it's not like they're punishing the NRA, they're, they, they're just not taking away a discount. I, I exactly. mean, they're, they're, they're just not, not, not going to be giving NRA members a discount, a discount which is yeah. their right, which yeah. is just like, you know. The free drink. FedEx has <laughs> like a right. If, if FedEx wants to keep 
their sweetheart deal with the National Rifle Association. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it, the, you know, FedEx can choose to keep their sweetheart deal. But I hope with, they choose not with, to. No, well, they, but there they are. But mm -hmm. then Americans have the right to say, you know what, I'm not going to ship with FedEx yeah, anymore. Exactly. Else. That's the way it works. These are two, two private institutions. Uh, they're not government institutions. They, uh, uh, and they have a right to have whatever kind of relationship they want to have. So, uh, you know, if I were the, the city fathers and mothers of Charlotte or Nashville or even Memphis or anybody, you know, any other, uh, other potential hub in the South, uh, I'd be making a phone call and saying, and you know, um, uh, anybody I knew at, at Del Delta, just uh, letting them know I'm available. Yeah. And by the way, you know what they say in the South, Mika? What do they say? You know, Willie. Oh, God. A, where do you go after you die? <clears throat> Hartsfield. Exactly. You go to Hartsfield, Hartsfield International, International Airport. Airport. You make mm -hmm. your connection there to either you heaven connect. or hell. Okay. Although there are uh, multiple Chick Fil A's at that yeah. airport, so yeah. there are mul there are multiple mm -hmm. Chick Fil A's. How are you going to find your yeah. gate? The place is so big. Okay, yeah. still ahead on it Morning Joe. It was such See, a good they can conversation split it up. until yeah. now. They yeah. can split it up. I mean, I, I was born in Atlanta. I'm a Georgia guy. I love it, but man, I'm telling you. If other Georgia representatives want to follow that guy's <laughs> like path. Please look what happened with General Electric and a bunch of liberals in Connecticut that were saying we're going to raise taxes and we don't care what the GE leadership says. There, okay, we'll move to Boston. It happened just like that. Still ahead on Morning Joe, new polling shows Americans have more trust in Bob Mueller's investigation than they do in President Trump's denials of collusion. We'll run through those numbers. Plus, a new report says John Kelly is largely brushing aside Ivanka Trump's agenda suggesting the first daughter is simply, quote, playing government. Those details are ahead. You're watching Morning Joe. We'll be right back. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.